What's going on everybody? It's a freaking freezing morning this morning, but I'm out here to show you where we're going to be doing our fig transplant video. We actually just acquired an entire fig orchard full of a lot of interesting varieties that do well here in zone 7A. So we, we went through the, the effort and got one of them yesterday and we've got 13 others that we're going to be getting today. So wish us luck and uh, hopefully you enjoy this video. All right, thanks. Hey guys, it's awfully bright out, but uh, this is where I'm picking up my mature fig trees. So I'm in Knoxville, Tennessee, and I'll go over the varieties when we're planting them. But we've got a pretty nice selection of pretty mature trees that have survived multiple winters here in zone 7A. So the challenging part is gonna get these lifted up, removed, and brought back to our place in Andersonville. There's two of them that cannot be dug up with a backhoe because of their location. And that's what we're out here doing today is digging those up. But the rest of these we're gonna lift up with the backhoe, hopefully make it a nice easy job, put as many as we can on the truck and rent a trailer and get them over to, to Andersonville. So we'll show you some of the footage as we're doing it. Hey guys, so this is where we're gonna be planting all of our fig trees. So it might look like a small graveyard for dogs or something morbid like that but in reality it's just some well cut out square holes for some mature fig trees that we're gonna be hopefully picking up today yesterday we went and we dug one up by hand it was our Sal's black which is right here next to me and that's a pretty good sized tree it's about eight feet tall it's probably one of the the smaller ones it's probably close to the medium range of what we're getting but uh, some of them are massive and so it's gonna be a pretty big undertaking today to get them and get them here. And as you guys can see, well maybe you can see, the, the ground is, is frosted over. So we have a few more holes that we even have to dig and the ground's pretty hard. So not only are we gonna have to get them in the ground today, but we're gonna have to do some winter protection to keep them, uh, keep them safe, especially after the uh, transplanting. So stick with us, we'll show you the holes real quick and you guys can see what, what we're doing. This area was gonna be, uh, just kind of open grass, but we decided to convert it into our fig orchard since we had already planted three figs earlier. You guys saw a video that my sons made about planting a Chicago hardy fig. We planted a Celeste fig and we planted a brown turkey fig as well as some cuttings that we had uh, acquired. We tried planting them as well. Whether or not they make it or not is okay because we're gonna have some mature fig trees coming in here shortly. So we'll show you. Wait, I don't have a grip. Hmm. Alright, get the roots in there real quick.
right, guys, it's getting dark, so we're going to fill in the holes around these trees, make sure that they're tucked in for the night, and we'll do uh, the conclusion of the video after that. All right. All right, so my orchard's finally in the ground, and I'm going to show you guys exactly what I've got here. I'm pretty excited to be able to finally share this with you. I'm going to be using my phone for this so that I can walk around a little bit easier. So if the audio comes out a little weird or video, sorry, I feel it'll be better than trying to have a shaky video camera walking around. So here we go. All right. So you guys can see I've got some stuff. I'm going to get ready to do my winter protection. There'll be a video on that. But these two right up front, it's called a Genovese Nero. Now, I do not know how to pronounce fig names. So... If I screw them up, I will have the spelling of them down below. This one over here is also a Genovese Nero. They had, I think I have five of them total. They kind of all fell apart and I split them and I'm making it, uh, I'm making it basically five different trees instead of the two or three that it originally was. Okay, this is by far the largest tree in the collection right here. It was so large that I actually had to move a tiger fig that I had right there. And you guys have already seen that video. This one is a white Genova. So, not sure what kind of fruit that one's going to bring. But the tree obviously does pretty well in this climate. It is massive. It is probably 10 feet tall and wide in every direction. Then... My son planted this little uh, Chicago hardy here this year. There's a video I have of him planting that. And I thought that'd be a nice location to put this larger Chicago hardy. It is about six feet tall. It's a little taller than me. So those two will be next to each other. There's my tiger fig hole. <laughs> and then this, this one over here is a nice large specimen. It is an unknown variety. They said, he said it had pretty good fruit, so I'm excited to try it out and try to figure out what exactly it is. Then I have a little gap so that cars can get through. Um, I'm glad I thought about that ahead of time because that could have been pretty bad. <laughs> so then right here on the other side is a Violet de Bardot. That's a popular one that I tried to grow in, in Arizona but was never able to. Then I have this one right here. It is an LSU purple fig, which I'm excited uh, to finally get to try that. I bought a cutting of one this last year and was not successful at getting it to root. So now I got a whole tree. Then right here, I've got a little Celeste tree that uh, we had planted the same time we planted our uh, Chicago Hardy. Um, walking over here, this is a brown turkey fig we had that one in arizona we liked them they're not the best tasting fig in the world but they're also not that bad either um then here in the middle i have got a red a rojo version and I, i'm gonna butcher the the pronunciation so i'll just spell it at the bottom um and then then we actually have the the block ver, black version of it i think it's pronounced black but it spelled block i'll show you guys that one here in a second and then we have another white genova so this is the same as the very large tree so hopefully these are good <laughs> i'm gonna have plenty of trees um then over here it's the the black um or blac forget how it's pronounced uh then over here is where i have the other two Genovese Nero. I have this Genovese Nero, which was more like a tree, so I have it like there, and that one's definitely more like a tree. Both of them had nice, healthy roots on it, so we'll see what that comes. And then this is the first one that we planted. Uh, we, this is the one that we dug up by hand. It's a Sal's Black, and we're hopeful that it'll uh, it'll taste it'll taste good. Videos of this fig tree have pretty good reviews. Um, woo, make you dizzy. And then this is the tiger fig. This is not an LSU tiger. This is a tiger panache. Um, it's a variegated variety. Um, you can even see the variegation slightly. Let me see if I can get it to focus. Focus. In the, uh, in the, in the trunk itself. You don't see it so much in the leaves, but you definitely see it in the fruit. It's a very, very pretty looking tree. 
So there's that. Um, and that's all I have as of right now. But you guys can see this orchard. And I don't have a lot, of, a lot more room on this little patch because I want to keep them uh, kind of where I've got them. I've got them uh, six feet. Uh, I'm sorry, they're, they're 12 feet apart and 14 feet apart. All right, so 12 feet apart. Let's see, 12 feet apart this way but 15 feet apart this way all right guys well hopefully you enjoyed this video and i look forward to trying and tasting all this delicious figgy fruit uh, if you like the video please subscribe that's how you show support for our channel and we'll catch you on our next video we've got some announcements to make so we're excited about it see ya Bill, and we're going to be transporting them and moving them out. Blah, blah, blah. But we're excited to, to get them and show you guys the progress. Yeah.